So WNC, as you know, stands for the Wireless Network Cloud. So before I go into the differences, I just wanted to spend a little time explaining today's telecom infrastructure. And uh, the way I see it is today's infrastructure is really geared mainly for voice data. And what's happened over the past few years with the proliferation of smartphones and other ways of communicating, it's led to this great you know, data tsunami, as they call it, over the telecom network. And this has created many uh, constraints on the telecom infrastructure. And so it's kind of trying to respond to how do I handle so many zettabytes of data as we're expecting um, the data tsunami to reach this year. Um, in that context, um, today's telecom infrastructure, for any new thing you want to add, any new protocol that you want to add, it's very um, specialized. So you would need to have a specialized uh, box sitting at the uh, foot of the cell tower. And for each new network protocol, you add in another DSP. And this adds in more costs every time you move to the next version of the protocols. Um, what Wireless Network Cloud does is it sort of offers you the ability to consolidate most of this function into software and it allows you to put a more open and flexible system um, in the using the design point of a standard IT architecture. So everything now moves to a standard IT architecture and to a more open platform. In many ways it opens up the telecom infrastructure to a greater degree of innovation because now that you have a standard IT platform you can do more than just handle the network protocols you could do some level of analytics at the edge you could run some particular applications at the edge and in that way um, the wireless network cloud really transforms uh, today's uh, IT and uh, telecom infrastructure that we have I touched on it slightly. I didn't get into specifics. So, um, you know, when I meant transformation, what I meant was that it really has a big impact on both the capital expenditure as well as the operational expenses for today's um, telecom infrastructure. Um, both our um, labs, both in China and India, research labs, have worked very closely with China Mobile Research Institute over the past three years or so in this area of the wireless network cloud. And the experiments they have done and the studies that China Mobile Research has done themselves, uh, we have a, a certain quantification of these savings. So with the wireless network cloud, what you do get is a savings of around 50% on the operational um, expenses, a savings of around 15% on the capital expenditure, uh, but more importantly, you get uh, power or energy-related savings to, the, to about 70% or so. So in many ways, the wireless uh, network cloud, what it does for the infrastructure is it makes it smarter as well as greener. Um, in another sense, it's also one of the key steps uh, for where the telecom network is going to move in the future. So we have the cloud uh, radio access network, which is a core piece of the wireless network cloud as the first piece. Then we have more of the software defined network, uh, which is becoming more popular these days. Uh, we see it in play in the enterprise networks, but it's technology that will be used in the backhaul phase of the telecom network. And then we have also this notion of the carrier network cloud platform, which would be the third phase. So in many ways, the wireless network cloud becomes the first enabling phase for this architecture. So uh, firstly, what we bring to the table is perhaps a very unique uh, system architecture, which suits itself to this notion. And one of the systems uh, which we are exploring with China Mobile Research is the pure system systems. And the reason we're exploring that is because it uh, um, gives a unique design point for the right uh, compute, storage, and networking combination that is required for supporting a wireless network cloud. So that is, uh, so system architecture is one of our key advantages. The second advantage is given our system strength, 
um, say in power based systems if we use a power based ite in this pure system we automatically get the value proposition of the power system um, for reliability availability serviceability we get an industrial strength hypervisor in um, p hype and um, these are very important components for the wireless network cloud because um, there, in order to support the real-time nature of the network, there needs to be sufficient jitter control, and, um, and a hypervisor like P-Hype allows us to do that. Also, with power-based systems, we get on-chip security, which is very important in the telco infrastructure. Um, in addition to that, uh, IBM also has its uh, cloud management software, which will be used as is to support the wireless network cloud deployment. So we've sort of covered system architecture, system design, and uh, systems management. But lastly, but certainly not the least, and sometimes I feel this might be even our most uh, strongest point in this area is this whole area of analytics because now that we move more to an open IT based general purpose infrastructure in the telecom network with the wireless network cloud we can now support many edge based applications including several analytics and these could be analytics in the area of supporting spatiotemporal data. They could be predictive analytics to uh, model the behavior of the telco network, predict what's going to happen in the future. And it could also be several other analytics that we have in our massive scale analytics portfolio. So in many ways, it brings a new function into the telco network. It makes the network intelligent. And in, in some ways, we become the network intelligence providers. So I think that is what we bring to the table. I think uh, WNC will be a transformative play for the telco industry. And the reason I say that is because now the telco industry not only has the opportunity to become more efficient from um, a return on investment standpoint by reducing their various expenditures, but it also has a new opportunity to make um, new money, I would say. So it's an additional or new source of revenue for the telco industry. Now they have the opportunity to monetize the data that flows over the network as opposed to just being a conduit of that data. The cloud deployment model will enable the telcos now to be lead players in the whole machine-to-machine -machine communication space. This is like a greenfield opportunities. We're just tapping or scratching at the surface with the growth of this notion of the Internet of Things and also what we see in IBM in terms of smarter planet solutions. Um, the telcos can now play a very key role in this space because now they are standardizing towards the more open architecture. They can do much more now than just, you know, um, conveying voice and uh, rich data traffic over their network. They also have this unique opportunity of being uh, trusted information brokers because in this area of machine-to-machine -machine communication, there will always be this system of systems where different systems need to interact. Um, there would be an infrastructure system, there would be an analytic system, uh, there would be a system uh, where um, there's an ecosystem of partners uh, creating a specific domain solution. So telcos have the opportunity to lead in the space and create this partner ecosystem. And as part of uh, the system of system, they have a, they're in a unique position. They're already trusted um, holders of mm, a lot of information for all their subscribers. They can therefore now be in a unique position of being this trusted information brokers across these systems. So I think this transformation that WNC brings to the telcos will help them reach out to this new domain of applications.